Hey everybody, welcome back to TCS Dart Frogs. My name is Travis, and today I'm going to be doing part two of my Dart Frog Care series. I'm going to be talking about Dendrobates leucomellas, or the bumblebee dart frog, and Dendrobates aratus, often referred to as the green and black dart frog, although they do come in quite a few more colors than that. I'm going to try to keep this video pretty short since uh, Dendrobates leucomellus and erratus are very similar in care and husbandry needs to Dendrobates tinctorius. So as far as temperature, humidity, um, tank setup, they're going to be basically identical. There are a few things that are a little bit different um, as far as housing and things like that and I'll go over that in a minute. So Dendrobates leucomellus and erratus both make very good beginner frogs because they're quite hardy. I would say leucomellas are a better beginner frog because they're a lot more bold and they don't really hide a lot. Now erratus, there are different morphs or locales that some of them are going to be pretty shy and then some of them are going to be pretty bold. I would say the boldest out of the erratus that I've kept are the Costa Rican green and blacks and basically all the other um, locales that I've kept are pretty shy. So um, if you're a beginner, I would recommend the, the Costa Ricans just because you're going to see them a lot more. Um, they're not going to be hiding and it's going to be a lot more enjoyable frog for a new frog keeper. So uh, that being said, both Aratus and Leucomellas can be kept in groups. Um, every once in a while they do fight and you'll see a little bit of aggression but they're not nearly as aggressive as Tinctorius. They make a really great group frog, although if you're trying to breed them, I would still recommend keeping them in pairs as females of both species will eat eggs of other females, uh, which is counterproductive to breeding, obviously. Um, another thing about Leucomellas and Aratus, if you want to have a tank with a water feature, I would say that these are one of the best frogs for that. Now, when I say water feature, I don't necessarily mean um, a deep, you know, pond of water. I'm thinking more of like a waterfall or a fountain, um, some sort of running water. Uh, with most dart frogs, it's a bad idea to have any standing water. Um, if they are aggressive towards each other and start wrestling, uh, they can drown each other in small pools of water. So if you do have a water feature, you want to do it with sort of a false bottom where the water isn't actually exposed so the frogs can't get into it and drown. Um, but these frogs seem to really like a tank with a water feature. So um, if you're looking to do a nice display tank with a water feature, um, Aratus and Leucomellas are definitely a good choice for that. Also, if you're trying to breed them, um, it's a good idea to have a decent size uh, water dish. That seems to really be crucial in them um, wanting to lay eggs and breed. Another thing about Luke's and Aratus uh, is that they both prefer a dry period and a uh, rainy season or a wet period. Um, in the wild, most dart frogs would receive a drier portion of the year and a wetter portion of the year, uh, dry season and rain season, but there's a lot of species that you can keep humid and fairly wet throughout the year and they'll continue to breed. Uh, Dendrobates leucomellus and Dendrobates auratus are one of the species that don't necessarily breed year round and sometimes if you offer them a dry season and then a rainy season, it will help sim stimulate that breeding. Um, behavior, so that's another thing to keep in mind when keeping Luke's and Aratus. So that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. And if you want to check out my social media, I'll have that link in the description. Also, if you want to check out that uh, Dendrobates Tinctorious care video, I'll link that in the description. And also, if you want to check out my website, I'll have that there too. So thanks for watching and have a great day.